Conquering Alzheimer's, the disease is a puzzle the medical community is trying hard to solve. And after a couple of high-profile drug failures, the debate over precisely how to tackle the disease is intensifying. Meg Terrell has the first part of our modern medicine series on Alzheimer's. The track record for developing a new medicine isn't great. Only about one in 10 experimental drugs ever makes it to market. But in Alzheimer's disease, that number is one in 244. We have nothing to slow it down right now. The disease already takes a massive toll on public health. More than 5 million Americans are thought to have Alzheimer's today, and that number is expected to triple by 2050 without new interventions that slow or stop its course. Already one in five dollars of Medicare and Medicaid goes to Alzheimer's. As 71 million baby boomers like I head toward the risk age, it's going to go to one in three and then one in two dollars, and then Alzheimer's will single-handedly collapse our health care system will single-handedly collapse Medicare and Medicaid. Despite the urgency, science still doesn't know how to stop Alzheimer's from ravaging memories and minds. The prevailing theory is that plaque buildups in the brain, known as amyloid, drive the disease. In medicine, this is called the amyloid hypothesis. But in one clinical trial after another, targeting amyloid plaques has failed to affect the disease. Efforts have been made to effectively to remove amyloid from the brain or change its metabolism and none of those pathways have improved patients cognition lifestyle the idea has been tested and shown to be incorrect it's one of the biggest disagreements in medicine and the university of texas san antonio's dr george perry is in the minority believers like harvard's dr rudy tanzi are convinced by genetic data linking amyloid to alzheimer's any scientist or clinician who's reading the literature carefully and paying attention to all the details for the last 30 years of the journey of the amyloid hypothesis would have to come to only one conclusion and that is that the trials have failed the hypothesis. Trial failures that most recently included one from Merck in February and from Eli Lilly in November. Lilly has spent more than $3 billion in two decades on Alzheimer's to no success. Many in the field believe those failures may have been due to timing. What we've realized in Alzheimer's disease is that the disease process itself in the brain begins, you know, somewhat somewhere between 10 and 20 years actually before neurons actually die. If you wait too late, if you're actually treating patients who are already severely impaired cognitively, it's probably too late to be treating them with the kinds of treatments that we're now using. Ongoing work from Biogen, Roche, Merck, Lilly and others is still targeting amyloid, but earlier in the disease's course. Biogen alone is investing two billion dollars to answer the question of whether targeting amyloid this time and in this way will work. It's a question society is waiting impatiently to have answered. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell.